Arizona Diamondbacks hosting the Colorado Rockies, and the Rockies are minus 140 on the money line. The D-backs are plus 120. The over-under is 9.5 runs. Colorado laying a run and a half are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. And the D-backs getting a run and a half are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, Gumbert pitched once against the D-backs this year. Five and two-thirds, four runs, four earned. They won that game 11 to seven. Kukul has not pitched against the Rockies either last year or this year. The Rockies are on a three-game losing streak. They are 12 and 26 on the road. They are five and eight as a team with Gomber on the mound. And the over-under is six and six in the games that he's pitched. Arizona's on a one-game losing streak. They are 21 and 23 at home. They're one and one as a team with Kukul on the mound. And the over is two and oh in the games in which he's pitched. Head-to-head, -head, the Rockies are on a two-game winning streak. The home team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 7-3 and three in their last 10. Arizona is 6-4 and four in their last 10 against the Rockies. The favorite or the underdog getting a run or laying a run are 5-5. Five and five. The over is 5-3-2 in their last 10 meetings. That's what the sportsbook said of that. And we've only had two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. I'm going to take the Diamondbacks with the money line, the Diamondbacks getting the runs, and the over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut. Please bet responsibly.